The Peace Boys welcomed the flying antelopes in Joss on March the 30 in a fixture that saw the return of goalkeeper Siraj Ayele Shaw from injury. Rangers international of Enugu handler Abdul Fage Mekaba failed to make the trip on grounds of his daughter's wedding ceremony. Straight off into action, Plateau United's Austin Opera receives the ball and launches a long ball to the opposition area and in an attempt to chest back to his goalkeeper, Tope Olusheshi handles the ball in the vital area and referee awards a penalty to the host which saw Mohamed Zoukifilo converting confidently. Against the run of play, Rangers Chidebere Unwobodo drives in and got tripped by Plato United's Alex Agahoa, resulting into a penalty kick. But O.C. Martin's team effort was comfortably saved by Suraj Ayelosho, with score still at 1-0 in favor of Plato United. After 36 minutes, Akila Jesse receives the ball and intelligently frees himself up to deliver a supply for Mohamed Zulkifilo, who appeared much faster than goalkeeper Seidu Mutawakilo to grab his second. After 63 minutes of action, Daniel Itodo delivered his trademark long throw into the opposition area with Izichuku Chimeze nodding to hand the Peace Boys a third. 14 minutes before regulation time, Sunday and Tony completes a quick one-two with Mohamed Zulkifilo to eventually lays a low shot past Mutawakilo to hand the Peace Boys a deserved 4-0 win over their eastern rivals. Plato United's chief coach Hamza Abara and Enugu Rangers assistant coach Benedict Ogo reflect. We capitalize on our quick transition for us to get our goals. Every player you touch in Plateau United and co-opt him into the game, he will give you what you want. That is the aim of registering uh, 40 players in a club. We can't say we didn't play, we play, but it is against the run of the play. Anyway, you know, that's what I will say about our losing. At the culmination of March Day 30 MPFL games across Nigeria, 30 goals got shipped in after nine games producing seven home wins and two wins on the road for leaders Rivers United and stragglers Kano Pillars. For match day 31 fixtures, Plato United head to the south-south with a crucial tie against Rivers United in Puraikot 